So, Kesh Chandra Shekhar's case, Nora Fatehi's recording her witness statement before Delhi's Patiala House Court in the EOW case. Fatehi recording her statement before Akriti Mahindru. She is a witness in this entire matter when it comes to allegations of extortion to the tune of 200 crore rupees. And Nora Fatehi maintaining that she has also, in fact, been a victim and a witness in this case and can't be an accused. Is what she said. She's narrating, in fact, recording her statement as we speak. This is in the economic offences wings matter, with Nora Fatehi recording her statement before Akriti Mahindru. She is a witness in this entire case involving conman Sukesh Chandra Shekhar. Nora Fatehi recording her witness statement before Delhi's Patiala House Court right now. In the economic offences wing case against conman Sukesh Chandra Shekhar, in which Nora Fatehi has come out and said that she too is a victim and has agreed to be a witness in this entire case. This has got to do with conman Sukesh Chandra Shekhar, and Nora Fatehi is now recording her witness statement. Munish Pandey has more on that. Munish, for the longest time, Fatehi has maintained that she is not an accused but a witness, and importantly, recording her statement today. Give us a sense of what she's going to be saying to the magistrate today. Munish, if you can hear me. Munish, if you can hear me, I was asking you about Nora Fatehi and what has she maintained as far as her being a witness in this case is concerned. What has she said so far? Well, Sneha, as far as Nora Fateh is concerned, remember earlier she was questioned by the enforcement director, but later the Delhi police recorded her statement. In both these statements by both the agencies, uh, what Nora Fateh has maintained so far is that uh, she is the one who was approached by Sukesh Chandrasekhar's wife, that is Lina Maria Paul, and she went for an event which was organized by Lina. Apart from that, there was absolutely zero conversation between Nora Fatehi and uh, uh, Sukesh Chandrasekhar. As far as the gifts are concerned, a BMW car and an iPhone, she claims that it was given in exchange of attending that event which was organized in Chennai. So as far as Nora Fatehi is concerned, in the case of uh, enforcement directorate, she is already a witness because the statement was recorded under Prevention of Money Laundering Act, so you don't need to record any other statement. But as far as Delhi police case, is concerned. Remember earlier, she gave a statement before the investigative officers, but as far as and evidence is concerned, she had to record her statement under 164, that is recording her statement before the magistrate. That is why she appeared before the uh, uh, Patiala House Court. But what the big takeaway for Noura Fatehi and as far as this entire investigation is concerned, Noura Fatehi is now officially a witness in the Delhi police case. As far as ED case is concerned, she is already a witness in the case. It means that it's a big relief for Noura Fatehi. But uh, uh, as far as Jacqueline is concerned, remember, she remains accused in the ED case. And this yeah. is what Jacqueline has opposed to, which there was a big uh, war of words as well that we had seen before. Why should she be a witness when I'm an accused is the question that Jacqueline Fernandez had asked, isn't it? Well, Sneha, as far as Jacqueline Fernandez is concerned, remember what the enforcement retreat claimed that even after knowing the fact that Sukesh Chandrasekhar has a criminal past, she continued to continued speaking, continued uh, uh, having conversations, continued having phone calls, and also receiving gifts worth more than. 10 crore rupees. The conversation started, uh, you know, in the month of January, uh, but it and it lasted till August. But in the month of February, she got to know that who Sukesh Chandrasekhar is. But still, after knowing the, this fact, she continued the conversation for almost six months. In between that, she met Sukesh Chandrasekhar physically. On the basis of all these things, what enforcement directorate claims that uh, she is someone who was aware of who Sukesh Chandrasekhar is, but she received gifts, which is proceeds of crime, and that is why Jacqueline Fernandez is accused in the case. As far as Nora case is concerned, remember she was not having any direct conversation with Sukesh Chandrasekhar, she didn't, she didn't receive any gift from Sukesh Chandrasekhar directly and that is why for both the agencies, Delhi Police and Enforcement Directorate, she stands witness in the case.